This is the Adventure Force Mustang Mach 1. And today we're gonna see what's inside of this thing. So to start, we have to take this body off by these two screws. So now we've got the body off. And gosh, guys, this thing looks so strange now. I mean, what even is that? Now we're going to take off this plate and then disconnect some of the wires. So we got all the wires taken off and it looks like we can actually take off this back end but we can't take off the front end because the motherboard is attached to the battery tray oh so now we've got the car cut in about half i'm sure this is the first time youtube has ever seen something like this now we're going to set this back end aside and then we're going to try to take apart this front end as much as possible it looks like we can actually get this motor out pretty easily here is the motor. Now let's take apart this steering. So this steering assembly came apart pretty easily. It just sucks because there's almost no screws, but oh well. Now that we can take a closer look at the front of this thing, we actually might be able to take it out. Yes, we can. Now we can just set this over here. And oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Literally, all we have left now is the middle part of the car, which looks pretty cool. And now all we have to take apart is the rear end. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. But before we can go any further, we have to take off these tires. Now to actually get in the transmission, it looks like we take off these four clips right here. And just like that, here is our transmission. Now we can just take these things out, set them aside, and then we can get this motor out. Now something I'm actually really happy about is how they put so much grease on all these gears. This means you'll have better runtime. Now that's probably why it did so good in these tests. And just like that guys, this car is now fully taken apart. I don't know if I remember how to put this back together. I mean, just take a look at how many parts are here. Honestly, quite a bit for a cheap Walmart RC car. But now we're going to try the best we can to put this thing back together. Now we're gonna see if this thing even still works. And yes, it does. Sweet. So I am so happy this thing is back together and working. I mean, there were a couple moments there when I thought this was not gonna go back together. But as you can see, it did, yay. Now I also did this to another RC car right here. And on that note, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I really hope you enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay awesome out there. Peace.